Nintendo's global president is spilling more beans, bro. Oh, we have our terrible Reggie Fisa, man. <laughs> OB1 plays. Yes, right. What's up? Hello, All right. OB1 plays. Tat 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 tat. Spat tat tat tat. You cannot stop me. I'm better than that. Better than you. Think on your crew. You trying to get me? I'm faster than you. Make you say ooh. Cover the crew. You trying to get me? My skills is the truth. Tat tat tat. tat. What is going on, everybody? How are y'all doing? Before we get started with lit news, give the stream the video. I'm about to say stream. Give the video a thumbs up. Let's get it over 300 likes, bro. First news item: Nintendo's global president. He sat down with Japanese outlet Nikkei for an all-new interview and he's spilling the beans. So much to unpack. I'm going to share my thoughts. Let's talk about it right now. This is what he says. With the rise in popularity of smartphones, our strategy is to grow the population of people who play video games. Now, we do know Nintendo always ha also has their whole smartphone initiative, Mario Kart Tour, Super Mario Run, yada, 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 in addition to their home console strategy. So check this out. This is what he continues to say. People all over the world enjoying games by utilizing the various features of smartphones, personal computers, and dedicated gaming consoles. I'm sure new offerings like cloud gaming and streaming will emerge. So, seems like Nintendo is anticipating incorporating cloud gaming more in their future tech and they're doing it right now with the Switch. You can download Hitman 3 right now via the cloud even though the game, the specs of the game is above what the Switch can handle. Cloud gaming is available on the Switch right now. So he continues. I think the most, uh, what, what, but this is what he says concerning cloud gaming, but they won't be a top priority when choosing what game to play. I think the most important things that there are are the contents of a game as well as the kind of games you play. On the other hand, technological advances can make a big difference to the gaming experience itself. He is not ignoring how technological, more powerful hardware can impact a gaming experience. So I'm glad he's admitting that. Since this can happen at any time, we're always actively researching technologies that could be the starting point of something fun. And then this last um, um, inter um, interaction is very telling. This is what the outlet said to um, him, and check out his response. Mr. Hiroshi Yamauchi, for those who don't know, that's the OG Nintendo president, the NES Super Nintendo, has said that there is no relation between how fun a game is and how good the hardware is. He, they, they're saying, this is what Yamauchi said, that it doesn't matter the power of the console when it comes to how fun a game can be. Check out what he says. This is Furukawa. That's something that's always on my mind. Of course, as the times have changed, some parts of our philosophy must change too. He's saying, I heard what Yamauchi has said. That was great for back then. For the Wii, DS, Iwata became president by that time too. But he's saying they have to change their philosophy going forward. Meaning we can't just be satisfied with underpowered tech um, and think that every game can be great. He is giving credit. And what, I've, what my big takeaway from all of this is he is looking forward to advancing technology. And with Nintendo, don't get me wrong, Switch is innovative, bro. Bro, just the concept, I, when people look at this console for the first time and see that you could detach, reattach the Joy-Cons, have it portable, dock it in the TV, that in itself is innovative. But they're also looking at ways to advance technology. 
the Switch Pro, in my opinion, should not be any less powerful than at least a PS4, at least. Because most of the games on the PS4 were 1080p, 60 frames per second, and a good way gameplay is being affected is by frames. And so, Switch Pro, they're dropping hints of what it could be, and it's good to see that Nintendo's global president is thinking about advancing uh, their technology and can't wait to see what that switch pro is going to be rumor mill is it's going to launch with mario kart 9 this holiday which would be big or spring 2022 which would still be big next news item brah do not break your 3ds i repeat do not break your 3DS. Nintendo is stopping 3DS and 3DS XL console repairs starting March 31st. This is from Japan. And usually what happens, Japan transcends, happens over in the, in the States. And so Nintendo is going to cease repairing 3DS. It looks like they're shifting all their attention to this. This is what I kept telling y'all. When Nintendo kept saying, the Switch is not going to replace the 3DS, it's our third pillar. That is all investor appeasement talk. The Switch, from the day it launched, was intended to replace the 3DS. A portable console, come on bro, that you can play also docked. And so, Nintendo is officially, it looks like they're going to stop supporting the 3DS as of March 31st. 3DS had a great run, fantastic console. I like the, um, my 3DS, bro. I had mine modded uh, so I could um, capture from it and then it broke. So uh, <laughs> don't mod your 3DS, <laughs> it'll break. <laughs> All right, next news item, bro. More and more Monster Hunter Rise footage has creeped onto the internet from various outlets. Um, it seems like they've gotten special embargo restrictions lifted and more gameplay of the game is on the internet and the game is looking phenomenal. Going to be a big, a huge Switch exclusive at the end of next month. Day one by easy. I got the Pro Controller downloaded. Let's go. Next news item the switch eShops for february 27th has been released and surprise surprise the number one selling game on the switch eShop this past week has been super mario 3d world i did beat bowser's furies phenomenal game fantastic game would recommend it to anyone uh dope 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 gaming experience bro i have to end this video by showing a little bit of love to this game. Shout out to the homie Cosby for putting me on this game, one of my sponsors. I still didn't pick it up yet. I might pick this up though, just because, I'm gonna tell you why I haven't picked this game up yet. But, Rogue Heroes Ruins of Tezos. Bro, I was checking out the trailer of this game. This looks dope. This looks like a four player, I think this has online multiplayer too, Zelda Link to the Past game. This game you could easily see it's been heavily inspired by Zelda Link to the Past, but you could play four player multiplayer. It's, imagine exploring dungeons with four players. So go and check this game out, give it a look, Rogue Heroes Ruins of Tezos. The reason why I haven't picked this game up is I just got Bravely Default 2. I know I'm not gonna be able to play both these games at the same time. I'm gonna be on that Bravely, and Bravely Default 2 gets precedence priority. So, I will be streaming some Bravely Default 2 on my gaming channel, Obi-Wan Plays Gaming Championship, probably starting tomorrow. Tomorrow or Monday is when I'll start my playthrough of the game. All right, dudes, what do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I wanna know, but before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date, all things, Nin, 10, Doe, we out, bruh.
You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I gotta hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at Obi-Wan Plays. And that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait, there's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash obi one plays. You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag bro links are in the description i'll see you later your eyes i see fear you wanted the crown my kids everywhere rat tat 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 splat tat 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 we win in this match fact rat tat 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 splat tat 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 we taking you out just like a gnat rat tat 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 splat tat 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 go right to the